Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload a new video. Give this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, leave your opinions in the, com in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. At last, two days after speaking on deducting Peter Obi's 2.5 million votes, INEC chairman makes another confession about 2023 election. In order to improve the coalition and declaration of results in the future elections, Professor Mahmoud Yakubo, chairman, Professor Yak Mahmoud Yakubo, chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, said that the experience of the 2023 elections will be used as a lesson learned. The logistics of transportation to and from polling locations, as well as hiring, educating, and deploying of polling agents and beneficiaries will all be enhanced as a result of the lesson learned, according to Yakubo. This declaration was made by Yakubo on Friday in the Ladi Kwali Hall of Abuja, Abuja Continental Hotel during the INEX debriefing session with election officials and poll workers. The meeting came up two days after the electoral body told tribunal court that it did not deduct 2.5 million votes from Peter Obi's score. Senior election officials were asked by Yakubo to consider the results of a previous election to strengthen the integrity of a coalition and declaration process, including the application of law, regulations and guidelines on the management of results. To address the future, the head of INEC advised officials to talk about the past, namely the role of technology in the administration of results, the security of polling agents and polling stations, the behavior of party agents and election observers during collation, and the behavior of security personnel. The Commission is aware that as election officials, you have worked under extreme difficult circumstances carefully and manually filling out the specified forms as required by law and transferring them to the next level of election administration or concluding the processes as election officials. Yakobo said in a statement posted on INEX Twitter account, Many of you have at least three election circles worth of experience in administering results, which is also a valuable experience. The Commission values your devotion, sacrifice, and commitment to upholding a democratic system. At the same time, issues have emerged, and several Nigerians have voiced worries about how results are handled at different levels. Even though some of these concerns are litigated and so not legally enforceable, we can still talk about them in general and more importantly, share, their, share our experiences on how to go forward. The Commission therefore believes that during the conference, we will be able to pinpoint the advantages and disadvantages of the situation as well as the required reforms that must be implemented going forward. You all, let me have your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about this? I just hope that... <laughs> Should I even... Do... <laughs> I wanted to say, I hope that, you know, INEC is able to take this as a lesson, you know, and work on it in the next election. And on the other hand, I'm saying, I'm thinking... Why should Yakubo be the one to administer the next election 
if he has messed up this bad in just one election he has messed up this bad you know number one was he did not even fulfill all the promises that was made that's why there's humongous amount of money that the federal government spends on the election you know the the one that a lot of nigerians were really hoping for you know to better the the results of election was the electronically transmitted results promise and that did not happen so i just feel if we were in a sinner society where you know people follow the law to the t yakubo mahmoud would have been sacked by now because how the hell did you promise that you are going to upload results electronically and then at the end of the day on the election day you were able to upload the elections for the house of representatives and senate electronically but suddenly suddenly the equipment meant to upload the results electronically to the server just suddenly had faults and could not upload just the presidential election results <laughs> tell me if that that doesn't even sound fishy like tell me oh my god i just i just hope that you know i don't know i don't even know what to hope for <laughs> oh my lord because i've always tried to be you know optimism about this optimistic pardon me about this country but you know <laughs> I've been seeing all these things that I've seen with my eyes in this country. <laughs> it's funny to even hope for, for for the better, but what can we do? We have to be optimistic, you know? But at this point, seriously, 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 if my mood should be allowed, you know, to administer the next election, it means ha, we have no hope in this country anymore. We have no hope. We have no hope. And that would actually solidify solidify the the allegation that this man was bankrolled he was paid by the apc to announce that that result to announce that election result because if not <laughs> there's no other reason why he should still remain as the INEC chairman at this point i rest my case you guys let me have your opinions in the comment section below what do you think about all of this? Subscribe, guys, if you haven't subscribed. Thank you very much for always listening and watching. Leave your opinions in the comment section. Share this video with your friends and family. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.